Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This is the third video on Eclipse shortcut. So what we are going to learn in this video, let me show you. So in this video we are going to explore some Eclipse shortcut which is which is which is listed in the uh, navigator or navigate in editor category. So there are 13 Eclipse shortcut we are going to explore in this video tutorial. So first shortcut is if you press home or end just put your cursor in beginning of the any line in Eclipse and you press end button then your cursor is going to be in, in the end of the line and again press home then that will come back to the beginning of the line. So that's why in exploration I have rewritten jump to beginning jump to end of uh, indentation. Uh, press home twice to jump to the beginning of the line. So if your cursor is here, if you press end button of your keyboard then your cursor is pointing on the uh, end of this statement. Again if you pro press home then you come back to the beginning of this line. So this is so simple. Now second command we have a you can press control plus home or control plus end and this will jump to the beginning or jump to the end of the source code. Suppose I am in the beginning of the source code, beginning of this class and if I press control plus end, so I am, my cursor is now blinking on the end of this source code. Again if you press control home then comes back to the beginning of the source code. So you don't require a keyboard in that. You may use Eclipse shortcut to uh, achieve this. Next command we have a control and you can press right arrow or left arrow and this will give you the uh, functionality like jump one word to the left and one word to the right. So if you press control if I put my cursor in the beginning of this line and if I press control and right arrow then look at here we are moving word to word right something like this word to word same if you press control and left arrow then we are moving word to word so it's so simple so if you want to move from word to word from left to right then you can press control right arrow from left to right and again if you press control and left arrow then you can move from right to left word to word so that's why we have uh, this shortcut now next shortcut we have a uh, you can use control plus shift or you can use control plus shift plus down uh, arrow down or down arrow or either you can use control shift plus arrow up for navigating from member to member this is very good i think uh, one of the shortcut uh, eclipse shortcut i found so control shift and down arrow if i put my cursor here and if i press control shift and down arrow look at here i'm moving member to member right in every method i'm moving right and again control shift up arrow if press then you are moving member to member. If I say member to member means method to method and variable to variable something like this. Look at here. I hope you understood. Now if you want to jump on the particular line then we have a con shortcut control plus L. So in my Eclipse you can see uh, and uh, Eclipse is showing the line number and if you want to jump on the particular line then press control L and pop up will come and you can give line number over here suppose I give line number 20 then my cursor is pointing on the line number 20 so this is this is one of the very good I mean Eclipse shortcut I found when your source file is too huge and there are thousands of lines of code in a single source file and if you want to uh, jump on the particular line then you can use control plus L
now next command will explore this command actually already I have shown in the previous video tutorial if we want to show the line number in the eclipse right so to do the same we have a command control F10 press control F10 and then press N so line number is getting hidden if you want to show the line number in eclipse again then control F10 and press N so again that will show the line number in the eclipse so that's why we have a, this eclipse shortcut now next eclipse shortcut we have a control plus Q saying that jump to last edited location suppose I do some addition over here I'm just adding some uh, suppose I'm adding some comment over here like this getting account details from database okay after doing this addition if I jump to the some other file and I want to again go where I had changed where is the my latest edited part so to do the same you can use control plus Q so if I press control plus Q so now that is my cursor is blinking on the uh, last edited location so that's why we have a this uh, command control plus Q and uh, cursor will jump to the last edited location now eighth we have a like uh, move to one problem saying that move to one problem that may be error or warning to the next or previous in a file suppose if you have a uh, several errors in your uh, 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 in your class file suppose I forgot to put semicolon over here so you'll get the some compilation error again I got I forgot to add semicolon over here and by mistake I have typed over here so there are three errors in my this class file and if you want to move in every error uh, every location where error is occurring then you can press control plus dot sign so my cursor is here I am pressing control plus dot so that means my cursor is moving in the every uh, every line of the code where this compile and compilation error occurred and look at here so now this is the last error in first sorry so you have a first error then second then third if you want to move from the uh, backward to forward from bottom error to uh, I mean uh, error which is on the top then you can perform you can perform the same action you can press the control plus dot or even you can use the control plus plus sign as well so this will move as well right so that's that's why we have a this eclipse shortcut so if you press control plus dot then that will go to the next error and if you press control plus comma then that uh, that go for the previous problem or previous error now if you if your method contains lot of nested uh, curly bracket and if you want to jump I mean if you want to find if your curly brace is open and where is getting closed so for that we have a, a eclipse shortcut and that is called control plus shift plus p to find closing brace place the cursor at the opening brace and use this suppose uh, my opening brace is here and I press control shift p so that in my cursor is going to the closing corresponding closing brace so here you can also con I put my cursor over here and if I press control shift p then that is going here even though if you click here then here showing a small uh, I mean a square uh, I mean rectangle that is showing 
your this open brace is getting closed over here but even though if you want to use eclipse shortcut then we have eclipse shortcut for this as well so control shift control plus shift plus p you will have to use now next in this list we have a control and down arrow or control plus uh, arrow up uh, and this is for we have a scroll editor without changing cursor position suppose i don't want to change the cursor position and i want to scroll uh, this editor then you have a control and up arrow and control down arrow right so you can do like this right and cursor position will be on the same place so that's what we have this eclipse shortcut now next control plus right and con sorry alt plus right and alt plus left for going back and forth while editing so this eclipse shortcut already i have covered in the the previous video tutorial still i would like to show you suppose i am in right now i am in this file and i go to this file again i want to go in previous file so to do the same we have a alt plus uh, right arrow right uh, sorry alt plus left arrow and again alt plus right arrow so you can swap between these two files so that's why we have a this tag alt plus right arrow and alt plus left arrow now next in this category we have alt plus shift plus w for show the package explorer suppose alt plus shift plus w right alt plus shift plus w alt plus shift plus w if you press then this pop up is coming and you can navigate on anywhere if you want to go on the git then git you can go to the git and again alt plus shift plus w and you can go on any like if you want to go on a history then you can go on a history right you don't need to click on the windows and go to the properties and then you can you don't need to go on the history so you have a several options options if you press ctrl shift w then you have a different options right you can go to the git package explorer history navigator project project explorer outline and properties so you have a several options right if you want to go to the properties then up from here itself you can go to the properties so property tab will be added on the console in the bottom of the uh, eclipse now last but very important we have a f3 this eclipse shortcut is very useful to see the functional functional definition very quickly suppose uh, if i i mean bank service impl and i'm calling this api from here if you want to go inside this api then if you if you, you press f3 then you, you move into the interface now but if you want to move on the its implementer class then you will have to press control and over here over here then you get the two options open declaration if you click on the open declaration again you move to the interface but if you choose open implementation then this will this will go in the implementer class so these are the shortcuts i wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys i hope you guys understood this categories of tags this category of eclipse shortcuts and See you on the next video tutorial and thanks for watching my video tutorial.